Hey, Rockford Jake here. Today I'm joined by the Rockford brand, which is a local company here in the 815. How are you two doing today? Good. Doing good, thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. So uh, given our current surroundings, the Rockford brand <laughs> works with wood, but uh, tell me a little bit uh, about the company and the history and what you, what you do here inside the shop. Yeah, well, uh, the Rockford brand really kind of got its start in the deconstruction business. Okay. Um, with my my father who was working at youth build and he steered the the company towards de deconstructing sure and not putting it in the landfill basically right we we knocked down a lot of buildings and everything goes in the landfill and there's a lot in there that is reusable and is beautiful so um, we started up working on furniture and custom made installations. Okay. Um, that really kicked us off is when Emily Hurd was working on the Norwegian. Oh, super fun. And yeah. She loved love the idea of reusing material instead of, you know, why cut down a new tree? <laughs> right. So you're taking, like you said, the lumber and the material mm -hmm. of these, you know, old buildings in Historic Rockford. Historic buildings in Rockford. Yeah. So yeah. the wood already is a hundred year old wood when it's built. Filled and with then history. the building <laughs> is a hundred years standing. Yeah. So this is good stuff. It's not going to rot. <laughs> Right. <laughs> you know, solid stuff. And then it's kind of morphed to also include um, trees that fall down in the forest. Sure. And we work with the clients in a way that we serve the, what their desires are. And so you mentioned working with uh, Emily from the Norwegian, mm -hmm. right? But you also make um, like custom pieces for people's homes, be it tables, chairs, furniture. Yes. On the list. And I love to say we, but I have absolutely no part in the creativity. So Josh can talk to that point. <laughs> yeah, largely I try to do custom stuff um, because, you know, I have a limited stock of that old wood. So, you know, I'd rather not just build stuff for nothing. Um, right. You know what I mean? Um, and, you know, we, we're doing other things like this piece, for instance, is going to be a tabletop. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, once we smooth it out, yeah, we'll probably do glass on top of that. So... The idea is that it's recycled. Right. It came, you know, that we're not buying it in, essentially. You now we're just trying to harvest it from wherever it's uh, available. And, and the concept a, that the wood actually kind of presents itself in a form. You know, it's like you can take a, a log and go, I do see a bowl in this, <laughs> you know, yeah. or there's a knot that's in a good spot or, mm -hmm. or the patina from the historic wood. Yeah, and that's that's what it's really after, especially historic wood is because it does look so nice. That's yeah, really where it's at, and it has a story to it too. Yeah, that yeah. you know. Yeah, the Norwegian is built from the uh, Chicago Great Northwestern uh, Rail House. Okay, which is on what Cedar is, Street. On Cedar Street. Yeah. Yeah. So the whole bar, all the tables, that's that's all antique. reclaimed antique mm -hmm. wood. Antique wood. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic, and yeah. so. Um, for those that are interested in like learning more about you, seeing your work, or getting in contact with you to you know request a piece for themselves, like where should they go? The Rockfordbrand.com. Awesome. <laughs> That's the best place to go. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. So hit your website, and I'm sure you have tons of photos of your work um, and all your contact information for people to get a hold of you to reach out learn more and order a piece if that's what they're looking for. Yeah, maybe you have a, a special piece of wood that you would like Josh to design into something. Awesome, so yeah, even for people that- We can use your wood. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, well thank you so much for taking the time to get together and chat and thank you Rockford for tuning in. I just wanna give a real quick shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support I'm able to meet with lovely people uh, and showcase our fantastic local businesses here in the 815. So big thank you to them and we'll catch y'all on the flip side. Mm -hmm. Bye Rockford. <laughs>